What's going on, y'all? So What's going on, y'all? So we are back again for another episode review of um Queen Sugar. This season six, episode three. You will come back different. Let me just tell you this. <laughs> I hate that I get on here and I be going off a little bit because I just be thinking about reality and I'm just thinking about, I put myself in these type of situations and what would Ashley do? Ashley would not do some of the things that they are doing, okay? Sometimes I feel like, especially in this episode, you know, everybody was trying to keep it cute. Everybody was trying to keep it cute on one particular part and Ashley wouldn't have kept it cute, okay? That's just all that I'm going to say until we get there. But we start the episode off and Mr. Prosper, he is out of the hospital. He is coming back home. Everybody is there of course the border loans are there um and you know charlie sees how billy is responding and you know her body language is just really tense okay and you know she goes over there and she's like i understand that this is it seems like to be quite honest that charlie is the only one that actually you know seems like really concerned about billy and takes the effort to actually talk to her and, you know, get her to understand that, you know, we're here for you when your father's always thinking about you when you were gone. And he, uh, you know, she was like, well, when I'm here, that's all he talks about is y'all. OK, now that I'm here, all he talks about is y'all. But, you know, you claiming that he talks about me while I'm in Chicago. But, you know, that's not what's going on. And I just don't feel it. And it's just like what is going on with their relationship? There is a disconnect between um you know, her and her father. And you got, of course, Prosper is so close to uh, Nova. It's just, it's just really crazy. You know, they having this little conversation and everything. And you would think Billy and Prosper would be sitting there having that closeness. And we don't see that. And I'm like, what, what, what's really going on here? Okay. So of course we're going to get into that later. Meanwhile, back at the, um, back at, uh, what's her place? Vibe place, you know, she over there with uh Hollywood and she got this big order that she uh fixing up or whatever. Hollywood trying to figure out where it's going, who it's for, and she was like, Don't worry about it. And he was like, Okay, she wanted him to go get something or whatever from the back, and so he go do that. And right when he went out to the back, he came back in and he sees um you know, Vi opening up the cash register and taking some money out and putting it in that box. I said, wait a minute, we taking money from the restaurant? That's what we doing? But we already read the public. We know, or I should say the viewing audience, we know where the, um, the money and the food is going to. But at this point, um, you know, Vi was going to go put the stuff in the truck and... Hollywood is standing outside looking and of course catches her trying to figure out what it is that you're doing. Okay. I just want to know what's going on. What are you trying to have? What are you up to? So of course this forces her because now the secret is out. She can no longer hide it. Forces her to tell him what's going on. Take him with her to the hotel where the um, battered woman is at. I can't remember her name, but her son name is Gabriel. And of course, you know, for some reason, Gabriel and Hollywood had a little connection, okay? You know, he was telling him about tic-tac-toe and all this other stuff. And we get a little bit more background on his mother uh, of how, you know, I guess it was some instances of domestic abuse that was going on, but it wasn't that much, okay? It wasn't as physical, you know? Uh, until during the pandemic when the husband lost his job. And next thing you know, uh, a little tap here turns into a punch, okay? And, you know, she finally decided to get out of the relationship because she can take it. And this crazy, this is so crazy. And this be the story that happens with a lot of domestic abuse uh, victims, especially ones who have kids. Um, you can hit on me all day. But what you won't do is you won't touch my kids, okay? And that's what her drawing point, her uh, her, that was her end point, okay? I have to get out of this because at this point, he started putting his anger on the child. And that's what she said, no, we're not about to do that. And, of course, it was via giving her encouragement or whatever. But after that situation, you know, Hollywood was just like, why you didn't tell me or whatever, okay, Vi, you, well, well, what if her husband would have found her, all right? But come to find out, you know, that t to make it seem as though the husband can't find her, she's from another parish. He's never been over in that parish. He don't know nobody in that parish. So, therefore, that's why she feel or I feel safe for her to be there because the husband don't know, all right? Literally. And um, at this point, Hollywood asked a simple, logical, real question. 
why you didn't tell me because what if the husband would have found out where he uh where she was at and what if he would have probably did something to the both of y'all okay you know and Vicus and her feelings like, see, this is the reason why I didn't want to tell you because look at how you acting like this, trying to make it seem like I always trying to save people and all this stuff. And I'm sitting here like, Vi, I love you, girl, but you doing a lot because you could have told your man. Your man is your muscle. Yo, you, you seen how he was when Jimmy Dale came up against you, bitch. Okay, he was ready to go to war. All right, uh-uh. I would have told my man, like, no, baby, listen, this is what's going on, okay? I need you to come here for muscle, for help and protection, okay? That's hot to me, all right? That would have been like, okay, that's my daddy right there. <laughs> That's how y'all straight people be acting, right? Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Somebody be like, bitch, you, you, you trying it, okay? You trying it. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But, you know, if I don't see the seriousness of the situation, she just looks at it as if, not necessarily the seriousness, as she don't see where he's coming from. Like, he's making a good point. He's not coming down on you. He's just saying next time you can come and tell me things like this because truth be told, this was nothing that um she needed to hide from him okay hollywood would have readily been there all right and at this point um you know she was like see this is what it is i i didn't even want to talk to you about this because you always judge me and then get into a little fit about that and, and, and hollywood was like is that what you really think that i would do and of course that kind of pissed him off and i would have stepped away too but you know moving on from that i said bye get your shit together okay Mama, what you was doing was not wrong, all right? He wouldn't have judged you. All you had to do was speak up and tell him. He would have probably been right along on board delivering the food there for you, okay? So that, you know, he probably would have been dropping out the food. But anyway, we get to this um, meeting that's supposed to be happening with the board of USDA or whatever the freak it is to get this remedy check that, um, you know, for the farmers, for the black farmers, okay? And this is the check that Ralph is depending on. Everybody's depending on. He banking on it to happen. They get up into the uh the the the, the building, and you got Charlie, you got Ralph, you know, and Nova. Okay, they coming around the corner, and baby, here go the goddamn sheriff. I'm sitting here like sheriff, what you want? I said Nova, look what you didn't done. Nova, look what you didn't done. But then I'm like, you know, in my head, I'm like, Nova, look what you didn't done, girl. You didn't prepare for all of this, okay? When you start going after them, that's when they start coming after you hard because they don't want their secrets to be out there. And you digging a little bit too deep. Obviously, you getting close to something because they playing with you, all right? They trying to, they trying to hit it at every turn at this point. And so, um, I feel like they're about to be messing with the family and I just don't like it. But at the same time, I'm not mad at Nova for doing what she doing because she is, is take bravery for what she's doing. Doing. But, you know, he talking about some, am I not allowed? Because I know this is a black farmer's things and people feel like something, you know, this seclusion and stuff. I said, sir, if you don't get out of here, but like Charlie said, so we can stop this uh mess. Come on, you can come. Okay, you can come up in here, sir. Damn. Meanwhile, um, Billy is there in the place of Prosper because Prosper just got out of the hospital. He don't need to be going through all this. He needs his rest or whatever. Plus, you know, I think she like a lawyer or something like that too. And she like, all I want is for the rightness to happen with my deity. And if I can help somebody else in the process, good be it. Okay. So be it. That's what's going to happen. And then Nova said, you know, cause Ralph was like, good, good, good. Nova was like, listen, don't trust that bitch. I said, wait a minute, Nova, what's going on? Like, Nova, you've been doing this all this time, and all I see is Billy trying to be worried about her daddy, okay? She ain't seen him in a minute. She worried about him, old age or whatever, and you just throwing salt, okay? You just throwing a lot of salt. It's like a lot of fever coming from you, and I just don't understand. I'm sitting here like, was y'all lovers? Was y'all lovers back in the day? Like, what's going on? Because I'm, I'm not understanding. Meanwhile, um, we get Micah, right? <sighs> Micah needs some help, okay? Micah needs some help. Um, but first, before we get to Micah, let's get back to this meeting, okay? I, I, I didn't win it here. I didn't win it here. Let me finish this off before I forget it. In the meeting, they trying to figure out when they supposed to get this check. And the people talking about some, since it's such a big demand and we got more farmers than we thought, it's going to take a, a little bit longer to go through every claim and all that stuff. And they was like, nigga, you've been telling us this this whole time, okay? we All this time has already passed. Of course, you got the white folks up in there, some of them white farmers, okay? And it was like, oh, so it's all about the blacks. And it was like the black vaccine and the black this and all this stuff. And I'm sitting here like, what? And they had to call him out. Oh, why y'all was up there trying to 
to steal our stuff. Okay, this what you talking about? It was like, what it sound like is reparation. Nova said, if it's reparation, what would be reparation is y'all giving $1.3 trillion to our black ancestors and stuff like that. I said, wait a minute. You know, we finna get deep. Okay. <laughs> I said, come on, hit him with the figures, Nova. All right, Nova said, you're not about to play, okay? But then they, they playing around with them, with this money stuff, all right? Talking about something, they don't have it right now. They got to go through the numbers. They got to go through this and go through that. And Billy was like, uh-uh, according to this statue or whatever, in this case, the time has passed. You do have it, and you need to give it to him right here, right now, okay? And he was like, that's cute and all that you know, and you recited that or whatever, but... We're not going to be able to give it to them. We're going to have to talk about this in six weeks. I said, six weeks? Ralph about to be in the po house, okay? He about to be living up in um, um Vi house, and they ain't even speaking yet. I said, are they speaking? We ain't even see them have a conversation, but they've been around each other. Girl, that is some petty family stuff, okay? You know you can't. You are being petty when you can still be around a person, and you ain't even going to bother to talk to them. <laughs> That is a mess. But anyway, back to no uh Micah. Micah, you know, he walking and you just ever since that stuff that happened at the uh vaccine drive, he hasn't been the same. He's having strong PTSD after what happened to Prosper, okay? And you know, he gets the phone call and the way he answered the phone call, like, like, yeah, what? You know, and Charlie was like, hold up, uh-uh, I'm your mama. And you, I know I didn't teach you to talk to nobody like that, especially me. He was like, my bad, I didn't even see who was on the phone or whatever. And, you know, she talking to him about this relationship with Davis. They were supposed to be coming over there to the house and having dinner with everybody. I was like, all right, you know, mind you, she going to put him on speakerphone. I said, why you got him on speakerphone, okay? And then he was going to tell Micah that you got him on speakerphone so Davis can listen. And he was like, I mean, if that's what you want to do, mama, I mean, I just want you happy. I want him happy. And if this was make you happy, go ahead and do it. Because I don't want to see you go through the things that you went through last time because you were so hurt. And I don't think that I can live through it either. That should have break me. You know, of course, Davis sitting there like, damn. I said, yeah, sit in it and feel this is what you did to the family. You broke your own child, nigga. Okay, he was, he, <sighs> something about Davis just does not sit well with me. I don't care if he trying to do good or whatever. I just will never forgive. I will forgive a little bit, but I will never forget. And that's the thing that will stop me from going back to a person. I can forgive you, but I won't forget because while I'm in that relationship, I will still continue to think about the fact that, oh, this happened. And I'll probably think that when you gone, maybe you out here doing this, especially given that they by coastal at this point. They ain't going to be in each other's presence all this time, okay? He got a job offering that he needs to get to, you know what I'm saying? And um, he waiting to see if he going to be the coach of some team out there in California, okay? And um, Charlie Biz is out here in, in, in Louisiana, all right? And I'm just like, how this going to work? And you going to trust that man to be out there in California by himself? Meanwhile, speaking of trust, listen... I did not understand, and this is the part that I was talking about at the very beginning. First of all, listen, I'm going to just say this. I'm going to just say this, okay? <clears throat> Davis felt like, you know, he needed, okay, that some it was going to be a little bit of resistance from some people, but it really wasn't, okay? And I was just sitting here like, this is what I'm talking about because... <laughs> Am I the only one or am I, you know, am I just a little bit too grudge holdy or too cold hearted or whatever? But I'm just going off of how I know I will respond to this. This is my family, my sister. Okay. And especially you would think like when it's men in the family, they are there technically, you know, how they make it in society that the men supposed to protect the women. Okay. And you would think that. I would think that they would be more so upset and more protective and feeling, and I'm not necessarily upset, but cautious or less forgiving or, you know, like, why would you want to get back with him type of feeling? Or, you know, if he ever do this again, I'm breaking his neck or something like this. Or, you know, I ain't trying to hit that nigga or whatever, stuff like that. They would have that type of reaction, you know, just a little resistance, not just be sitting there when they're getting ready for him to come over. I think they was at Vi House getting ready to come over or whatever. They chopping it up about how Ernest used to like him and how Hollywood like him, Ralph like him. They kick in like this as a family reunion. 
reunion. Like, we ain't seen him in a minute. It ain't nothing negative happened. Like, he literally embarrassed and humiliated and violated your sister slash niece in public. Put her through it. Okay? Turns her life upside down and was doing this for years. And she had no idea. She probably had an inclination, but she didn't know for sure until all of that shit just came out in the wash in the press. And you are sitting here. And I understand some time probably has went by. But if I would have seen him, it would have made it all flood back to me. I'm not that type of person that can easily forgive you, especially when you hurt somebody. And I don't care. I don't care if she forgave him. That does not mean that I have to forgive, okay? Or they have to forgive. But it was just really, really weird, you know? Because when they come up in there, okay, Mike could come up in there with him. And I'm thinking, Vi going to give him, give, going to give it to him, right? Girl, he got some flowers because everybody else was like, yo, what's up, Davis? Okay, my brother, what's up, the kid, and all that stuff. <laughs> and I'm sitting here looking at Hollywood and, and, and Ralph like, what is the intentions? That man hurt your sister, your niece, and this is what you're going to do? You welcome him with opening arms? You ain't going to give him no type of lip or fever? And I mean, like, okay, a couple of years and went past. I don't give a damn, okay? But shit, you know, maybe I just need to grow up a little bit, you know? <clears throat> I'm just touchy like that. Because if some man hurt my sister like that, listen, if you over and done well, I don't care if she forgive you, you will be forever scarred and, 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 Ugh, in my eyes, okay? I don't want nothing to do with you. I'll be cordial, but I ain't going to be welcoming like they was. They was a little bit too welcoming, even Nova. I said, Nova, girl, this is what we're doing. And then when Vi came out there, Vi was looking like she was about to give it to him. And I was like, all right, Vi, go ahead. He gave her that flowers, and she was like, mm-hmm, go ahead and sit there. I said, what? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> So we just going to sit here. We just going to be cool. Okay. You know, of course, he going to apologize for what he did. And they ate that shit up. I said, man, whatever. Meanwhile, uh, Miss Nova, you know, she outside her house. And she come there and she see uh, an envelope on her stoop. I said, um, man, what is that? Okay, Dominique come past, and he, I think he got his sister with him, okay, and, uh, they talking about stuff, and he talking, uh, she suggests to go to the real spot or whatever, you know, Hollywood spot, and so she, when they walked past, she opened up the envelope, and it's her picture with a target, like, like a, uh, you know, Target that be at the shooting range or whatever on it in red. I said, oh, no, no, but you need to get security. Get you a Julius, okay? You a celebrity now. You a public figure now, okay? Get you a little security or whatever because you need some. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, after this little dinner that they had, the men and the women split up. The men went over there to, um, you know, Hollywood's real spot. And that was some real stuff that was going on. That was one of my favorite scenes out of this whole episode because these black men got together. They even had Prosper on the little FaceTime. Uh, these black men got together and they was just rejoicing in each other, you know, and, um, Hollywood was trying to get them to open up. Now, let me just tell you this, Ralph, Ralph, Theo ain't to be trusted. You telling him that's your friend. And then he going to say, this my friend from prison. I said, uh-uh. I ain't need to know that part. Now, see, now I'm definitely looking at you crazy, okay? And you know you're not supposed to judge, and usually I don't. But after what he did, now I am, okay? Go uh, try to get him to, uh, you know, do some stuff, uh, unload a truck and be the driver while he unload a truck or uh, some computer stuff at Landry's Industry. And uh, Ralph said, uh-uh, bro. First of all, I ain't in that stuff no more. I'm straight clean and all that stuff. Second of all, them Landry people, I know them. I ain't trying to be involved, okay? Ask me out. And he was like, that's cool. That's good or whatever. You all to the good. But here, here's something for the baby. Gave him like $100. I was like, mm, he a charity case. Meanwhile, him and Darla had a conversation. They trying to figure out what's going to happen. Okay? They trying to figure out what's going to happen with this doula situation because they ain't realized that they needed a midwife because you know she want to have a natural birth. So they talking to the doula. And doula was like, you want to have a uh, midwife? Okay? She said, wait a minute. We got to get both. Yeah, because I'm here for the mama. That's what the doula for. And, and, and the midwife is for the baby. She got more medical expertise. Okay? And at this point, 
she was like, talk to your insurance people. They might can help you or whatever. And I'm like, do they get insurance? I hate that I had to think about that. But I was like, do they get insurance? And so at this point, you know, it, it's just like coming down to the wire. What should they do? And I love what Darla said. Maybe we should not be so scared to ask for help because we done maxed out on our payday loans and stuff like that. And Ralph don't want to go that route yet. And I understand where Ralph is coming from because sometimes, you know, and I'm that same way. I don't want to ask for help when I'm really needed sometimes unless I'm truly, truly at my ends with and I exhausted all options. And it makes me feel weak when I need to ask for help. And that's probably what he feeling. And you have to get out of that mindset. I already know, but I understood that. But back to the real spot, you know, Hollywood was like, who gonna talk? Okay. But nobody really was opening up. But then he started opening up and giving a story about his mom and how this white sales clerk wouldn't let her try on the hat and how he felt about her, how he meant the world to her. And at the same time, you know, talking about Gabriel, you know, and I'm sitting there, I said, is, you know, Theo just popped up out of nowhere. Is he supposed to be playing a significant role? Are we going to see him again? Is he Gabriel's daddy? Okay. Or is he going to come back and Ralph going to go back to him and be like, yo, bro, I'm going to end on that job. I hope the hell he don't. Okay. I hope that is the last time we see Gabe, uh, Theo, you know, but meanwhile, after all of that, Micah is at school. Okay. And he winds up having a panic attack. Bro, bro needs to get some help, okay? So, he, they having a little, um, you know, sit down or whatever, talking about some things that's going to happen on campus or whatever, little organizations like, uh, I guess it's fraternity brothers. Baby, a security guard come running out and he put his hand on his little uh, taser, whatever. And the way that he rushed out, it kind of triggered Micah into a panic attack. And when he was trying to calm down, he was like, where's the cop? Where's the cop? And they was like, what cop? And that one friend that was talking to him last week, baby, let me tell you something. Is Michael going to come out or something? I don't know why I'm thinking that because, dude, like, we can't even think these days of, you know, guys just being friends and just being really good friends or whatever. But I don't know. I just get the feeling. You know the character that played Michael. He's the, he, he's gay in real life, okay? So, I'm just like, is this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel if that happened, though. I don't want him to. I want him to stay. Anyway, moving on from that. I don't, don't want to sound, you know. Okay, anyway, moving on from that, moving on from that. Um, Back when the women had split up, Darla was sitting there talking about how, you know, she's so grateful for everything and she, this, she, this feels like a second chance for her and she just don't want to mess up, but she just can't break this feeling that something bad is going to happen. And everybody was like, uh-uh, don't do that. Of course, Val was like, don't do that. You know, you hear amongst people, you should feel great or whatever. You should be able to allow yourself to feel this way because all the stuff that's going on now, they're trying to make it feel like, or trying to make it seem like we can't feel, okay? Like, we can't enjoy our happiness or whatever. No, you enjoy your happiness and all that stuff. I said, oh, preach, bye, preach. But Darla was right on the money after you saw the preview for what happened next week. I said, damn, damn shit okay you know it goes to show stuff that happened in your past your past will come back to haunt your ass and that is exactly what's gonna happen next week meanwhile um after all of that all i want to know is since we talking about the family um it's blue off the show will we see my baby boy yet like we seen him on a little facetime video for a quick second i think in the first episode and we ain't seen him six since we on episode three i know but still what's going on okay where is he is he doing good you know what i'm saying is he getting straight a's or whatever meanwhile you know um <clears throat> let's get to this situation okay because this situation hurt my heart so much and this is why I like looking at shows like this because they put in real ass topics, okay? We talking about depressions. We talking about mental health and all that stuff and men showing their emotions or whatever. So when they, the women were sitting down there having that little discussion or whatever, um, you know, Billy came up, okay? And they was like, what is your deal with Billy Nova? She was like, you know, you know that quote, uh, when people show you their face, believe them. That's what you need to do. Like, she did some foul stuff to me when I was kids or whatever. Because um, we used to be real close. And they was like, even Ralph used to go around acting like that was his third sister or whatever. And it was like, you know, Ralph was young. He ain't know no better and all that stuff. And then, um, uh, uh, what's her name? 
Vi said, oh yeah, Billy done did some shit to me too. I don't trust that bitch either. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. And I said, Vi, what she do to you? She was like, oh yeah, you know, they said that she was running around here messing around with Jimmy Dale when I was with him. I said, what? I said, now Vi, at this point, I feel like you just saying stuff just to be included, okay? Now, where is your proof? I said, now that shit, you didn't pour that out of thin air, okay? I said, that's, it's no thick ass air. You didn't pour it down like this. I said, now, where you come up with that from? I said, now, how old is goddamn Jimmy Dale and how old was he? I said, what the hell is happening? Meanwhile, we see, um, Vi in a restaurant and then you see the look, the, the battered woman, I forgot her name, Paula J. Parker's character, and her son there. And of course, Hollywood come there and they're vibing. The boy taken to Hollywood and Vi is watching this and I'm like, oh my goodness, I think Hollywood might want a child. Okay, he's going to be like a father figure to him because on the next week's episode, he's going fishing with the boy and everything. I was like, oh, this is cute. Okay, but we get to this whole thing that I've been trying to get to and I've been trying to understand what is going on between Nova and Billy. I see it. Is y'all star-crossed lovers, lovers scoring or something like that? Girl, what wind up happening is... Nova went over there to her house to drop off, or I should say Prosper House, to drop something off for him, okay? And right before she was about to leave, Billy was like, okay, so we're going to talk about this or what? Are we going to just be awkward like this, or are we going to talk about it? Okay, who you want to start? You want to start? She was like, listen, bitch, you fucked me over because we was really good friends and all that stuff until you did what you did. And if you want to start this stuff, why don't you start with giving me an apology, okay? Because you ain't have to do that. You ain't have to do what that is. It affected my relationship with my dad and everything, you know? Him up there thinking things about me, talking about some my soul needs to be saved because you told him that I was gay. You outed me. I said, oh my God, Billy, bitch, I want to fight you. Okay, we don't do no stuff like that. You out here outing people, y'all 18 years old and stuff, and you outed people. Why? Why is y'all supposed to be friends or whatever? She was like, okay, 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 cool. She was like, okay, so I said that shit and it was an accident. Oh, so you accidentally outed me? Yes, I did. It was an accident. But see, at the same time, you want to act like it's all about you, but you, you supposed to be my best friend and you wasn't even there when I needed you at my lowest and my worst moment and she was like what are you talking about oh you talking about when people talk about you and jimmy dale oh so that was true what you think nova put two and two together bitch okay i'm 18 years old and you got this 33 year old man he's 18 i'm 18 he's 33 going around saying that she's good in bed put two and two together bitch i don't know nothing about that Okay? And I'm up here trying to talk to my daddy about it. Don't nobody want to listen. All right? Everybody's just stacking away. You not listening. He not listening. And I said, oh my goodness. Jimmy Dale, I word her. Trigger warning. Sexual assault. I said, oh my goodness. And Nova, that scene, baby, that scene made me cry. That scene made me cry. As soon as Nova tears came and the way that Billy, the actress that played Billy, and she, I was sitting here like, uh, y'all not finna give me my emotions like this in this whole episode because, wow, wow. As soon as I started putting stuff together, I said, that's what it is. And she was like, the reason why what happened is I left this town as soon as I could and I vowed never to come back because of that because nobody believed her. Nobody checked in on her. Nobody inquired. Why would these rumors be going around about an 18 year old being with a 33 year old man okay nobody inquired about it nobody thought that she probably was forced to do it okay and i said damn and nova you all about the people and all about helping people and you couldn't even see that and i'm like but you was 18 too so you didn't know you was young all right and at this point she said when it was time for her to leave to go to college she left but before that she went to her father nova's father and she told him what happened. And she said, I felt like he believed me. And she wanted that relationship that Nova had with her father. And so therefore she felt she felt she felt the way about it. And she wanted Nova to hurt the way that she was hurting. So that's why she outed her a little bit. And I said, hurt people, hurt people. So it was a way to get back at her because no, you're not going to believe me. My father's not going to believe me, but yet your father thinks the world of you. So, and my father don't at this point. Let me just out you right quick. I said, now, girl, I was pissed at you. You don't do no stuff like that, but you was young and you was hurting. So I'll give you a pass. That shit hurt my heart. All right. And then she walked off. Nova was standing there looking stupid as she needed to be. Okay, girl. 
anyway, moving on from that, Charlie, this man finna have you looking stupid, okay? Y'all out here talking and, oh, I'm finna go into politics and I'm finna stay out here. He got the job or whatever. He cool with her staying where she at or whatever. And I'm like, you really cool about that? What about what the people gonna say? Don't worry about what the people gonna say. I spend it. I do this. I do that or whatever, okay? You know what? Let's go ahead and make this official. You know a relationship ain't official these days until you put it on the gram, okay? They took a picture and talked about some black love with a black heart. I said, get y'all black asses out of here. Um, I don't know how I feel about this relationship. I'm just not too trusting. I'm going to be the one that's going to be devil on the, on, on the side. Everybody else could be, yay, I'm glad for Davis and Charlie to get back together. No. <laughs> Anyway, Queen Sugar was good. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about this episode. I'm about to go look at the new show, Our Kind of People, and I will get y'all that review later on tonight. All right? I will see y'all later. Peace.